Okay. Still just getting set up. I thought I would grace okay. you all with my magnificence. Still just getting set up. I thought I would grace okay. you all with my magnificence. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. Welcome back to Low Energy Videos where we are playing. We are playing. Mm, so much playing. Why are you playing, dog? Come on. Yeah, that's set up. Now the uh, the the scaling is all wrong, which pisses me off. Though this music definitely helps. Where's the fucking sign? There you are. Let's see how big it is in comparison. Right, you'll see what I mean by the scaling. See? See that cut off there? See if you guys can actually see it. Right, it actually works in one way, and that means uh, that's so I can actually have uh, the chat in this blank area. I'm not cool about this, by the way, but uh... yeah, see that whole black box there in the corner, that black rectangle. Fuck that shit. The scaling is all wrong. Older games do that all the time. Anyway, I played this a while back, and I had no fucking clue how to play this and yet something hooked me so I started to play it more the same level over and over and over again more and more I even started watching this guy on YouTube who was doing the exact same thing and eventually I first got a bronze and then a silver and now a gold so I actually know how to play this shit oh, not bad for a beginner You've started a trend there. <laughs> now look at them all scrambling to jump on board. Now this one is where it gets chunky. Uh, also, yes, I've got a beer high on me. The reason why is I have a shit ton of beer and still tons of food. So Hello, you awake? Go ahead and select a map to get started. Listen here, old man. No one interrupts me in the middle of my show except for the numerous people who don't show up on my chat. in motion, railroads are emerging from everywhere. For every successful line, there are four bankrupt ones. Take advantage of the momentum you've managed to start, but beware of some of the more sinister deals that big money always seems to bring. And wipe your chin, you got some muck on it. Oh shit. It's called a beard. Look into it, old man. God almighty. After the easy initial connections up and down the East Coast. Easy! Fuck you. Next major goals of the railroad industry was to connect to the western states, then to find anything west of the Appalachian Mountains. Their goal for bronze victory is to create one continuous track connecting New York and Chicago by the end of 1870 and haul eight loads between the two cities. For a silver win, your company as book value equity must also exceed four million. If you do both at the end of 1858, you'll receive the gold. Very useful, but always necessary. Uh, right. Baltimore, Washington, Norfolk. All right. 
So we already we already have one set up. So they want passengers in the form of uh, they supply passengers and they want passengers, mail, and lumber. The only other one we have is here in Albany. They supply passengers of mail and demand passengers of mail, lumber, and logs. Okay. So, with that in mind, first things first, let's get the most out of our. Get the most out of our thingamajig. Always add the saloon and the restaurant. Shit. I'm killing time here. Time is surprisingly against you in this game. You can't just rest on your laurels. Except for sandbox mode. Okay. Now that that's been built, let's buy ourselves our first train. We're gonna pick a Prussian because it's a superior German train. Yeah. Um. Okay, it leaves New York. New York currently holds passengers and goes to Albany and picks then Albany picks up mail to bring back to New York and actually has a lot of both but those older trains can't really hold more than three so All right. And there we are. Now, we have to find the mo most productive way to get to Chicago. Damn. There's Toledo, there's Detroit. Where are the objectives again? Um, New York, Chicago, and hold eight loads. Now that might seem simple to make a straight line, but track is expensive in this game. So, I'm guessing we have to start by moving. That Alan Wood. I have enough money, see? Alrighty. Now we'll increase the speed. I think there's hotkeys to, uh. Oh! I'll try this. Let's see how that helps. Whoa! That doesn't help. Look at it having a hissy fit! Whoa, that looks like shit now. But can you guys see it better? No. Shit, it actually made it worse. I blame society and the rise of uh, of video games. Ah, that one actually works. So, okay, so our little train that could is gonna. Let's see how well the track is. Oh, look at that money! Oh yeah, yeah. Why is that one piece of track just there? There's Stratton. Makes paper. Produces mail and produces. Yeah, that's not use. I mean, it could be. Boom times ahead. I have nothing to fear about places like Columbia and Charleston. They won't secede from the Union or anything. That's just poppycock. Hmm. 
Look at that money! Now it's going back to New York with even more money! Alright, the next nearest spot we need to stop off is Pittsburgh. Oh, poor, poor people. Um... Oh, can I? Can I? No. I need a 200,000 one. But I don't know if it's worth it. So, yeah. It supplies mail. Good stuff. That's a useful thing to have, in a way. Train. Another Prussian. Yeah, the Aryan trains are taking over America, yeah? What did demand? What the hell? Now it now has nothing. Now it's producing nothing. It just demands cattle. Well, we've got to train for our next one then, I guess. Ooh, the American! I'm gonna show these crowds what's what. Our sole goal now is just to make as much track as possible to get to Chicago. And that's not gonna be easy. Hold on. Before I do that, I know how to even make more money. Small hotel. And because there's a post office involved. Telegraph poles. Give them everything. Maybe not a warehouse. Oh, warehouse is only 24. Nice. Turning into a real boom town now. You guys still produ producing absolutely nothing? Typical. Pittsburgh is our next port of call. And then we'll head down to Canton or Cleveland, either one. And then. Where the fuck's Chicago? There it is. Alright, once we get to Toledo, then we can, um. Well, we'll be in Toledo, so we'll probably be dead within the hour. Look at the difference in price once you have um, hills. 19, 30, 79, 115. Like, Jesus Christ. Fucking Rocky Mountain bastards. What am I saying? Rocky Mountains. Nowhere near that. That's the closest you get. The Illinois River is as close as you get. Oh, come on, Allentown. Don't make this weird. Give me something. Anything. <laughs> money! Enough money to pass over a singular hill. Need another... No, 
know this track. Yay! Okay. No, I want to start. Shit. Um. Okay, so we want you to start at New York. And then. New York has passengers. Allenwood has passengers and mail. Look at the difference in price, Jesus. At least we're starting to make some profit from that fucking thing. We want all that rail. I'm guessing that's a good thing whenever I see a, the stock is split. Two million dollars to New York Central. Yeah, the New York Flyer. What do you do? Let's see how much. That's not a terrible amount. That'll be a nice earner on the side. What's more, because it's a lot closer, it won't be um, too bad. And there, we just got off the Appalachians. Good stuff. Now we can, uh... It'll be a lot easier to produce, um... A, by, uh, use track. From here on out. It'll still cost a fortune. Track is the most expensive thing in this game. By far. It'd be absolutely mental if we didn't have them. Um... There, that'll help. A sanding tower. extra money. Turn back round. Large restaurant. Alright. Now this is stupid in one regard. It should be deducted from the cost of the small restaurant. Pittsburgh. Welcome to the pit. Bridges cost a fortune. Okay, so it also supplies passengers. gonna do is I'm gonna change this up train two after it's done with this one we'll start in New York and collect passengers say three of them It will then make its run straight to Pittsburgh, not stopping in... Oh wait, no. no I'll have to stop now. But... Otherwise, Elmwood won't make any money. No, wait, no, my bad. 
doesn't need to stop this time round in Allenwood. So it goes straight on to Pittsburgh, picks up more people, goes back to Allenwood, and then to New York. This is going to be a one colossal passenger train. Oh no, the boom's off the boom. That's got everything. And we're in debt now. But this new service to um, Pittsburgh will definitely help. Look at that, 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 look at that. St. Louis, huh? Ain't it just, man? I've been in love with this. I know, by the way. I've been in love with this soundtrack since I started playing this game. Sid knew his music, no doubt about it. Next stop will be Canton, and then Toledo, and then, we'll, like good people, we'll ignore Detroit and just go straight on to Chicago. Once we get to um, Chicago. And we have to haul 12 amounts of... Oh god, I don't know if we can pull this off. get it off, I'm just going to restart and do it again. off at us, but it doesn't matter. Look how much money we're getting from this. Once he gets into Pittsburgh, he'll be alright. Oh shit, Pittsburgh doesn't have the uh, sanding tower and watering tower. gonna rake it in. Come on, little train. Pull in, bring in that money. That sweet, sweet money. 
Oh my god, nearly one million dollars. Will that get me to Chicago? <gasps> it will! Even the game's like, dude, you're doing it! We just earned two million dollars by connecting New York to Chicago. Mm. Now, we can't rest on our laurels. We now have to ship. What's the. You have to haul eight loads between the two cities. So I need a new train. Luckily, there's a new train called the All American. Or the American City, rather. Right? So this one will start at Chicago. This one will start at Chicago, and we'll pick up uh, passengers, mail, passengers. We'll stop in Pittsburgh, where it will lose the mail. No, well, let's keep the same. Go to Anoba, and then New York. Doesn't need to worry about anything too fancy right now. I also got to see my new train. Oh, look at it! It's all multicolored. America! Woo! Woo, it's going fast! Let's get as much money as we can out of these motherfuckers. Easiest way to make money in this game? By far, easiest way to make money in this game. People. You get all the extra resources and shit. People always want to go places. And they always need to use trains. Four to one, huh? Sweet. What about little Clanton here? What can you offer? It demands cattle. Eh. I really help it there. I don't know anywhere that has cattle. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we got the money. Oh no, not economically cooling. That's the last thing I want. But we're investing it well. So... Connecting this great nation with a string of telegraphs. Alright. Arlington has no sand? Yes, it does. I will want to pull into there. What's up with that? Strange. Alright. 
Now, I believe St. Louis said it also had some money for me if I could connect it. So where is St. Louis? Here's Green Bay. The little city that has more say than any other little city in America. Maybe I'll double up. Ooh, double track. Yes. Ensure there's no delays or anything, you know? Double bridge. Thank you. Double track. all this double track. Wow, that's actually not too bad. Back up to a million. More bridge. First time I did this, I freaked out. I thought maybe the train vanishes, but no, it's just... moves out of the way. Alright, that's enough double track for now. Pittsburgh bullet at a record 25 miles an hour. My god, at that point, your brain will be turned to butter. I already know money in Ellington. No it there, but what are you gonna do? Nice little network of a uh, really well-to-do track right here. The reason I'm doing this is because we're going to move up to the Canada next. Show these Canadians how to build trees. That's cool. Can't afford it. Yeah. Next time one of them arrives, we'll be able to cross the river and then reach Montreal and Ottawa and the rest of them. And then we can backtrack down Ottawa to Bancroft, Toronto, and then to London. Then finally to Detroit, and then we can backtrack onto the original one. We'll have a powerful northern network connecting our growing United States and our ally, the Dominion of Canada. for a bridge. Jesus Christ. My God, look at that money to Chicago. There's not enough space on the board for it. 
I'm gonna put track into everyone's home. You want <laughs> me? Hell. Yeah, double track bridge. What's going on? That's just weird looking. <laughs> no, I don't think we need three bridges. money on another fucking bridge Connected, that's all that matters. Oh, so close, too. Okay, so it supplies passengers, mail, and iron, and demands logs. That's cool. just wants passengers. I'm cool with this. Or gives passengers rather. So this one now will go from Montreal, Quebec, Albany, New York. And then if people want to hop on a train, they can go down from New York, then to Allington, Pittsburgh, God knows why, and then finally Chicago. But possibly new um, stations coming soon, such as Canton and Toledo. Scranton. Where's Scranton? Scranton. There it is. T 
200,000. I can make that shit. Oh, yeah. Perfect timing. Uh. New type of building has been built for the first time near Banwar. Steel mill. Coal and iron produces steel. Ooh. Tensions rise in the Balkans. I don't want to mount to anything. Come on, little train. You can do it. Chug a chug. That's a whole lot of goodness. Okay, let's hire, let's get a new train. Alright, first things first. Um, once again, you can only buy the American. It's the only one you ever need. Alright, alright. Passengers. Uh, and Ottawa gives you passengers. Albany gives you passengers and mail. And then finally, New York. Alright. Let's get started on the Canadian line. First stop is Ottawa. Ooh, the cannery produces uh, produce, steel, and also produces food. It seems no path to next station. Ah, oh, shit! All right. No, let's pull those. It's joined, isn't it? Yeah, good. Dick. Random track just scattered around everywhere. Alright, Scranton, 200,000. Connection. Single track, because it's only a tiny little town. Produces logs, does it? Okay. Great stuff. Now, it wouldn't be worth it on its own to send iron and what have you from here. So... We have to connect it now to somewhere else. So there was another one, isn't it? Burlington? That's Philly.
Okay, so they produce passengers and mail, same as before. They also want passengers and mail, so this will be the Scranton to this will be the Scranton to Philly line. So it's only three stops. Scranton. Where it will pick up I now come on. Philly will pick up passengers and mail because it's the only things they produce. Then go to New York. And then finally to Scranton. There we are. Cornelius Vanderbilt. Oh, shit. We've had a slow and steady growth. That's pretty good. Here's Indianapolis. So what else does Chicago demand? It demands lumber. We need to find ourselves a lumber mill. Actually, yeah, I was going to continue on down, wasn't I? Keep that in mind. Hey, we'll be able to put lumber down from here. I think. Yeah. Oh no. Producing logs. Something, I guess. Everyone is demanding shit other than passengers I don't have. Ah, refrigeration storage. Sweet. We demand pulp wood. Cross back over into the USA. Got ourselves Detroit. Happened here. So we've now done the entire of the, well, half of the Great Lakes, anyway.
Oh, great. Well, we got a civil war now. Fuck you, Fort something. Something. <laughs> On the plus side, we're so far north, we should be safe from any sort of fighting. That's of course damn damn Rebs win. Okay, where does this one start? This one starts in Bancroft. Bancroft produces pulp wood. That's good. Because if I'm right, London wants pulp. So... You start with... Passengers and pulp wood. Then go down to Toronto. And pick up passengers. And then London. Whoops, hello. Toronto. Once you get into the swing of it, oh my god, it's so relaxing. It's a big old checklist you go off one at a time. Come from the drunken guy, stay for the amazing music. I didn't build the station in Detroit. Our insurance won't cover it. Enough of young men are dying as it is. Oh, I'm trying shade at Detroit. I hear it's doing a lot better these days. God damn, we're losing a lot of money. Train 2 has suffered a breakdown. Oh, shit. What do you do when you have a breakdown? 
There it is. I know, we're half a million dollars in debt. Once our trains actually reach their fucking destination, we'll be alright. See? Give all the major cities roadhouses after that. Roundhouses, rather. They're roadhouses, they don't know where. Roundhouse. Includes Pittsburgh. No, it doesn't. It includes Philly, though. Which has nothing. Ah yes, nothing says war like prosperity. Well, the trains are now going to be 100% taken care of. can think about expanding. I know somewhere on the map gave like a huge boot bonus for the first person to reach them. seen a sign saying I got like silver or whatever. Weird. Um
So our equity must exceed, exceed four million. Okay, so... So I guess I'll just do that then. We got a continuous line going from Chicago to New York. Bringing in a shit ton of money. Track lane maintenance drop 33%. So no... So during the Civil War, I got rich. I wouldn't be the first person Do that. She was old. Her time had come. Let's now, um, let's now uh, show support for our once secessionist brothers and build a rail line from Charleston. to Washington. It supplies mail and oil and demands passengers and milk. Passengers, mail, lumber and milk. I'm sure tons of southerners want to go up to see Washington. After all, they couldn't get there last time. <laughs> Seriously. 
the sound will never rise again. Okay. Uh, we're in debt. Okay, we'll start at Charleston. Charleston, known for its Charleston Chew. And it will bring mail there to here and pick up one passenger car do the same and do the same then they can backtrack once we have enough money we can connect uh, So the south is almost connected to the north, this is a tiny amount. Once it connects up to Philly, then it can connect up to New York. And then if people want, they can go as far as Chicago. Or as up north as Montreal. All on the wonders of the of the Iron Road. Matthew McConaughey impersonation down to a minimum for a whole bunch of reasons. It's not ideal, but it'll work. Yeah. Baltimore yeah, Everywhere needs a uh... Watering tower Sandy tower Watering tower Baltimore. Same.
Hey, the out-in-town Zephyr, 35 miles an hour. I'm building up this great nation, that's for sure. What I just thought to do. <laughs> I think I have. I think I have. I think I... I didn't realize how long this mission was. So... If the game doesn't say that, oh, you beat... Uh, the game or whatever, I don't care. I'll be back. I will be back. Woo! A new rail! Perfect! Okay. Now. Get this. Train 5 has been robbed! What? The Wheeler. The Wheeler will start in Montreal. Not Montreal. It will start in Charleston. Picking up three carloads of people. It will then go on. Fire. Rob. Switch one of those cars out with me. Washington. Baltimore, Philadelphia, Arlington, New York, Albany, Ottawa, and finally Montreal. Ladies and gentlemen, We have the longest running train route in world history at the time. And a brand new train to look at. Shit. That's just embarrassing.
Alright. Only a tiny amount of money to get here. I know in the future railroad games they have things like um, you can go inside the trains and watch the world go by. That is so cool. When I get my hands on that, of course I'll do that. Train 1 has suffered a breakdown. That's strange because New York has a roundhouse, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Albany doesn't. The Washington Watt Rocket, 41 miles an hour. We're actually getting into real speeds now. All right. Fuck off. Yep, look, I have over nearly two million dollars in profit. Do I care what you motherfuckers think? Cause that's how trains work. Oh man. Oh fuck you, buddy. Couldn't quite pull it off, huh? I well, could. you can tr In fact, I think I know what the problem was. All right, I think I know. Uh basically I connect it's meant to be a direct line from Chicago to New York. And instead I had tons of stops. So it wasn't just Chicago there. So I'll be back if I'll play it myself, most likely, and beat it. Not right now. But still. I am in love with this game. Uh hey hey short bus. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna let this shit get me down. I'm going to go right back into it. I'm going to go right back into it. Boom. Because I know, I know the fuck up I made. I know the fuck up I made. I don't feel like I can't be, I'm going to get beaten by it. Uh. 
Oh, not. I'm gonna go right back fucking in. Face first into a sea of trains. What I was like, uh, I played it for an hour 20, I don't want to play it again. No, if I know how to beat this, I'm gonna fucking beat it. Nothing's wrong. Except I'm drinking in a really weird way. See? A continuous track connecting New York and Chicago. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're an annoying hat. You are terrible once you get to the dregs of the beer. Seriously, this thing can only have about maybe half a bottle of beer, uh, half a can of beer, before it's um, it's impossible to get any more out of it. I'm sure there are more modern, better designed hats, but back in my day, that's all we had if we wanted a silly drinking hat. Consumption. A uh, print screen. Like a barbarian. So, passengers and mail. And Albany doesn't have it in return. Fuck it. It'll do. So oh, short bus, how are you? How are you keeping? Yeah, they're pissed off at me, so what? Why is that? Curiosity, how much is it to get from...
1.7 million to get from uh, here, from where I am to Chicago. been happening for a while or what? got the ability to look at internet, I can't right now. I'm sure there's a converter. I mean, I'm laying down a... I'm assuming on average it's maybe a mile of track, and it costs 5 grand. Now it costs 18, 25, 30, 58. I have to get to Pittsburgh first, then I have to cross the river, Canton. And then I'm just gonna go past Fort Wayne and go entirely to Chicago. Now this time, however, I will not um, have a, 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 a rail network that uh, has numerous stops. That I will have one rail network one uh, service what the fuck is that what the fuck is my fuck it's a usb uh, those things end up getting everywhere uh see now I, uh, two million dollars Once we get out of the Appalachians, it won't cost as much because we're not going over these massive hills. That's the one. I'm almost certain that's why I'm going to a large restaurant. I'll upgrade this. Um, yeah, look, look at the briefing here, right? Your goal for a bronze victory is to create a continuous track connecting New York and Chicago at the end of 1870 and haul eight loads between the two cities. Now, I did that by tons, right? I did that so much more than just eight loads. Um... So I'm guessing what happened was, because I had a bunch of stops along the way, that doesn't constitute. Hartford. Where's Hartford? There. Hartford, Connecticut. 200,000 first person to get up there. Can we afford it? Probably not. And we're almost out of the Appalachians now. must be the um, only person in history who's desperate to get to Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. 
Oh, I get it. It's the bird poop. Monica around here somewhere. It's old and beat up. My dad found it when I was like 17. Just sitting on a bus stop. Whole side of it is cracked. It, uh, it must have a story to it, let me tell you. And if it doesn't, I don't want to hear it. It won't be anywhere near as good as the one in my head. His name was Blues Man McBlues. He wasn't very good at his job. Boy, did he love to play. No one else liked hearing him playing. But every day he'd sit by the bus all over the world, from China to other places that you don't expect a blues man to be. And he played, and people eventually kicked him out. One time in Sweden, they literally kicked him out. Don't know how they managed to do that. Those Swedes got good legs. Distraught, he realized something that day. Old blues man. Why, he didn't know how to play blues at all. He wanted to be a dubstep rapper. And so little blue XXX was born. <laughs> well, that's a story for a different day. Does this cover the whole country? This map doesn't cover the whole country, but other ones do. There are whole maps dedicated to America. There are whole maps dedicated to the North American continent. But this one's about the one just before and during the American Civil War. As you might notice by the date. It's gonna break out pretty soon. Blue Triple X. Come on down, if you're Caucasian, that is. The Farmer Johnston's good old time emporium. We have opinions you may not like if you're from the West Coast. We have tobacco, both chewing, smoking, and bushelin'. And of course, we got incest. Who doesn't like a good bit of incest? Tell you who, them damn commies. You know, I'll hear Southerners making fun of themselves all the time. What the fuck has suffered a breakdown? You, whistle tozzle! Don't you be breaking down on me! There is no reason why you should be breaking down. There's a roadhouse, a uh, roundhouse, I should say, right here. Where the cousins are sweet, but the sisters are sweeter. <laughs>
connected Chicago to New York City. Now, I got that before. Except... It then doesn't count. So... And we're now in the open plains. One day, all this will be farmland. Nothing but... Corn fed. No, wait, I was having a story with something else. So the skit can come later. Um... Yeah, so Southerners can make fun of themselves all they want, but when someone else makes fun of them using the exact same jokes... Oh no, 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 you're not allowed to do that. And if you think the Civil War was about slavery... <laughs> You've been reading the wrong histories. These ones have been cherry-picked, so we don't feel so bad about ourselves. Remember, I actually met a blues guy, I swear to fucking god, in Dublin Airport. Uh, we were heading off to uh, Cyprus, and he was heading off back to... Back to the US. But, um, we talked for a bit, he even gave me his album. And, um, oh, he just, he was the most apologetic Confederacy supporter in the world. Apparently he toured with R.E.M. at one point, as he very proudly had on the back of his box. And all the while I was thinking, like, dude, just because you had family members that fought for slavery, that doesn't make you a bad person. You're alright. We're almost there. How much is left now? Oh good, wait, fantastic. That's what we need. A financial crash. Hundred and thirty three. That one small train is just my whole lifeline. I know everyone wants me to have a look at the annual report, but go fuck yourself, I don't care. I think one reason this game is so appealing to me is just the soundtrack. I know I've seen this soundtrack in like the top 10 best uh, soundtracks in a video game before. Wait, what? How are we in debt? How are we in debt? Our train's making tons of profit. I was rolling in money last time. Oh no, I know what happened. I know what happened. Just because I can't have a direct line, uh, I can't have multiple stops 
doesn't mean I can't still build up like a smaller network. All right, let's save some time. Couldn't quite pull it off, huh? Old man. Well, shut you can up. try it again or skip it for the next challenge. Oh, 15. 15% 15 off on building track? Of course. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Old man thinks he's better than me. He's not better than beer. No one's better than beer. It's a great equalizer. Alcohol. <laughs> oh, here's a little um here's a little hint here, folks. If you ever get challenged to a drinking contest by a Russian, never let him choose the alcohol of preference. Always, and I mean always, suggest beer. They will drink you under the table ten times over with vodka. And that means they're pretty good with other spirits too, as long as it isn't too syrupy. But beer? Oh, they're shy at that. I think it's too bubbly for them. Alright, same as before. And Albany produces nothing. Alright. Now. Get as much money out of these places as possible. That includes a good old fashioned turnaround. Oh, see what I mean? Alright, that'll have to do. Uh. Run, little train, run! At Albany. Albany wants lumber! Holy shit! I think we can handle that. If we build a singular line from Albany down to Scranton, Scranton will produce a huge amount of wood, which we can then connect to Albany for a tidy and quick little profit. Better be. Popularity of my That'll drive me crazy. The pop the popularity of mail. Well sure. I mean Jesus. It's always been a novel idea of being away from someone and getting information from them. Romans knew this. So I have a little lumber camp here. And, um... They'll go back, forth, back, forth. American now. Choo choo. Now 
This will be the logging run from Scranton to Albany. Yeah, they be wanting some shit. On the plus side, um, that will result in some really good um, little side earnings. Back forth, back forth, back forth. We'll need to invest in a sanding tower. Uh, one thing at a time. Yeah, they supply logs and pulp wood and don't demand anything. Which is nice of them, except the fact that I am a sort of supply and demand sort of guy. Good old fashioned DeWitt Clinton, huh? Um, Scranton. Albany. Right. They want lumber and logs. Let's give them lumber and logs. And then make your way back and then pick up more lumber and logs. On an endless loop of choo choo ch trees. Choo choo trees. That feels like a really industrial thing right there. I mean, even look at the train, it's like an old abandoned, like an old reused public thing. I like that. Maybe after Scranton gets big enough, we can um, turn a profit. Oh, fuck you, of all the places. Literally right outside. That should not happen. That should not happen. There is a fucking round, round roadhouse. Roundhouse, whatever the fuck you call them. Roadhouse. House house. There's a house house right there. Saloon. It broke down literally outside the station. But the thing is that every time it pulls into the station, it should be topped up by this building back here. That's why you build them. Now I know a lot of them don't have, these early ones don't have great reliability. Also, I gave him no um, carriages this time around because on the way back, because there's nothing to do. Your sole job is to collect wood. What is my purpose? To cut butter. No, you're, you're to serve me butter. There. Cost me a fortune, but now that shouldn't happen again. Pissing me off, boy. That's twice now. Reliability, poor. Acceleration, extremely poor. No, that's the wrong one. Where's the other one? Mayor. Reliability, below average. I think we can agree there. So much for fucking R German engineering. Oh yeah, we hadn't really worked out on that nuts and bolts yet. Technically, there was, wasn't even a Germany yet.
And now Albany, obviously, there's no sand, because... I didn't build a sanding tower back there, because I'm in financial... Tution of destin... Destiny, if you will. My little scheme to, uh... My little scheme to, uh... Passengers, but there's no passengers, so. Uh, have a bunch of wood. Wasn't very productive. I think I met someone from Scranton once before. I suppose statistically. It's when I was over in the States, that part of America, yeah. Mm. If you ever wonder why bars hand out free crisps or pretzels or peanuts it's the salt so you get thirsty Making a little bit more money than before. But I still gotta put down another uh, thing and do it like a root. These rails are gonna get busy. You can't just have your one major earner, because while your your major earner is doing as best as can, except for this one, which is constantly breaking the fuck down. Um, you know, sort of a side thing. Keep yourself afloat. Okay, that produces mail and grain. And the man's cattle. No, I can't really do much about cattle. This one will go from Allen Wood. Two things of mail to New York. Or it will um, then turn into two things of. Actually, because it's not very far. Oh, wait, no, my bad. Those little numbers on the side show on average how much it can produce, so. I just realized the lumber is also pretty much in demand in New York as well. Probably would be easier to go down to there, but. A dining car! Ha! Huh? Didn't notice that before. So, this is the mail train now from Allenwood, uh, Allentown to New York.
Beerific. We technically have a hundred. Before, gotta get down to Pittsburgh. This will cost 800. This will show the difference in prices because I lowered it by 15%. 850. Now, if you don't want to go for the gold, you can wait until the Civil War starts, and once it's finished, the um, the cost of laying track is lowered by another 15%. You have to admit it's pretty good, 30% reduction. I'll change the one back from New York. Ah, I see now. Now it only supplies passengers and grain. So. Addington now it supplies passengers and grain, so now. And New York, it doesn't demand. I guess. More passengers. I get some money out of it. Almost on the other side of the Appalachians. We have a um, a nice little side earner thing to keep us afloat. If you don't get too much in debt in between every time I buy a huge chunk of track. See, it's a track that really fucks you up in this game. Ooh, New York's paying good money for that. Uh, Gonna increase that uh, to a third car. Nice. Perfect. All right, we're just at the foothills of the Appalachians. Very pretty. Fallout 76 territory. Ah, we were on a financial boom. Boom times ahead, boom times over. Now it's just grain! Ugh! Oh, Allentown is so awkward! Stop being awkward, Alan! Welcome back to another installment of Awkward Alan. Where awkward Alan is very awkward. Yeah, at the very least we'll get some money.
Yay, now we'll get some base money. If only so people can go and sample a restaurant and a bar. To be entirely honest, I've gone to town simply to do that. Particularly in Ireland. Ain't it just... Welcome back to Awkward Alan. Oh, Alan. Back to Scranton, little train. Pick up more dead trees and mashed up dead trees. Ding, 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 ding. Money. I don't know what customs are. Like, what? What do they do in this game? There. Now, now we should bring in a good chunk more money. Choo choo. American Sea. Oh, yeah. The American Sea were the trains that, um... Train 1 has been robbed. Hey, you can hear little gunshots. Here is everything in the train. Yeehaw. I'm a cowboy, even though this is nowhere near cowboy territory. I don't know how you fix that yet, so... Maybe you don't. Maybe it's just like a... An earthquake has struck your city. Type of building has appeared. All right, so we're now sixty-five thousand in debt. Huh? Fuck you. Oh, don't worry, it's getting worse. We're eighty-four thousand. We're a hundred and two thousand in debt. Now we're only sixty-six. Eighty-three. Hundred and one. Why do I think I'm looking at my actual bank account? 67. 86. Come on, it's all down to you, buddy. 104. 66. Alright. There. Now you see the value of the side wall. We should have enough to get to Pittsburgh now. Yay! Wait, what am I saying? It's Pittsburgh. No! You're in Pittsburgh. It's been nice knowing you. Track blocked. Oh, yeah. This is where double track come in handy, but I gotta focus on more important things. Nice. The demands pulp wood, huh? Everyone wants pulp wood. Guess we're not getting motherfucker. Okay, Captain. Cleveland. 
this is for like future uh, things. Once I get like a direct line, uh, uh, express line, then I'll be fine. Okay. Now, Chicago. Six hundred and fifteen. Not impossible. If I sold some stocks, I'd be fine, but I'm not doing that. It's a little bit more track and we're there. Three hundred and sixty eight before we can pick like a big of course even now we have to get the the station. Well, because I have nothing to fear, it's not like getting crazy will happen. I'm going to go now and pee. Enjoy looking at the trains. As they do the train stuff. Back in a second. Okay, I forgot one thing to mention. My toilet seat is fucked. <laughs> it's upside down. Like it, it, I, I, it. Don't know what I did last night. It wasn't like I st stayed up for very long afterwards. It's not like I got shit faced and blacked out. I just noticed there now though. My toilet seat is backwards. <laughs> it's come loose. I've got to re-screw everything back in. The cur the curse of the confused toilet seat. I'm not confused, I'm just the way God made me. Silent toilet seat. I don't want to be a toilet seat anymore. You were designed for asses and splashback, and that's what you'll do, damn it. I screwed you in, I'll screw you out. Well, you didn't do a very good job, did you? We're almost there. Next time uh, they arrive, we should have enough. You 
Yeah, I've been basically eating my dinner on the cistern there on the top. It saves a lot of time. I have no fucking clue how happened. I had to go to take a crap, I know that. I'm guessing when I... When I sat on it, I must have warped it in some way and came off the hinges. Nothing's broken, there's not like any bits of plastic everywhere. Just everything's come loose. But I completely forgot about it, so when I walked in there then, it's just, it's literally upside down. Like it's... My bathroom's a shambles. It's not egghead shambles. I do clean my bath. Or Chris Chan bath. You want to be freaked out as much as you saw Egghead stuff? Oh, Chris Chan's one is just as fucking disturbing. And I saw someone say, well, why doesn't his mom clean it? She's like old and dying. Chris might be locked in his own sense of weird Wonderland Quickville, but, um. No, he still has to do basic things. Of course, thinking about being an asp- well, P is autistic. So I can tell you from an Aspie, we do often downplay those sort of things. We don't think about them as much. So they can come back up to you. For me, it's washing, cleaning, cleaning up clothes and doing a big wash. That can jump on me after a while. Usually when I run out of clean clothes, I'm like, oh, right. I've just gone through my entire wardrobe. <laughs> so for him, her, I should say, sorry, Christine, um, it must be twice as bad. As for Egghead though, what was his excuse? Because Rivy didn't tell him to do that shit? Shameful. What isn't shameful is... Boop. Yay! Okay, so we got two million. Now here comes the moment of truth. First things first, they have to prepare themselves. So they want passengers and mail, and they demand passengers and mail. Okay, that's cool. Now, they need a sanding tower, and a watering tower, Roundhouse. I should just give them everything that would make money. Okay. Now. Train. Purchase. Chicago. New York. This will be a long train. But here we are. Here it is. Now it said four Look at that money! Look at that money!
Look at that bad boy, just bolting down. Across the mostly Ohio. You're the fastest thing in Ohio. That's a little joke. The fact that people are overweight. I will put Canton here. The reason I'll do that. I know you got. Uh, well, I did get um, just hit by. Um, not hit. I got attacked by uh, outlaws. I don't know about disease, but um, something tells me uh, something tells me Indians might be a thing. Then again, we haven't dealt with. Uh, We haven't dealt with um, uh, rebels. We're in the middle of the Civil War. There we are. Ooh. Damn, they really want their pulp wood. Okay, that's too much money to ignore. find some logging camps here wait hold on hold on isn't there a cattle my bad sanding tower watering tower and a roundhouse that way the train is constantly topped up every time it passes through. It doesn't have to stop, that's a great thing. Um, yeah, Pittsburgh wants its um, pulp wood. So this is the nearest logging camp. I think in the later one you have to, um... You deal with that more often. Economic cooling? No, no. Nice. That just has to do two trips, by the way. Um. Give them a crap. Oh, you can't. That's annoying. Um. So Pittsburgh Crossing. I like that. I like the way it's called Pittsburgh Crossing. They just gave it a brand new name. Pulp. Uh. Okay. So Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh demands pulp. No, sorry, my bad. Other way around. Let's get Pittsburgh Crossing. Oh, it was my bad. Okay. Oh, 
Mount doesn't need logs. So three things of pulp. The Pittsburgh. And I'll give I'll give one train load back. Look at us abuse this great nation's wealth. There we are. Oh, I suffered a breakdown. I suffered a breakdown, did you? You little shit, even though I have a fucking roundhouse right here. And I meant to stop there. Right in front of the one I need to as well. Fuck off. And there's another train coming back. You can uh, help improve their reliability by just keeping... Uh... By keeping them in good nick. by uh, lowering their speed, but obviously if you lower their speed, well... Anyway, let's see how much money we get. 1.5 million! From one trip. Slowing down the Allentown train. Look, they can have Allentown. This bad boy has to get back to Chicago. Now, bronze, create a connect continuous track connecting New York to Chicago by the end of 1870 and haul eight loads between the two cities. Now, a load of passengers and mail still constitutes that. So... Place it. Same as before. The early trains broke down a lot, I know that. Hell, um, one of the first examples of trains in the world, uh, while they were waiting on the tracks, they didn't understand how quick the train was going, which, you know, 30, 35, 40 miles an hour. Um, and sure enough, they uh, uh, ended up getting uh, this one guy was more or less eviscerated on the track. Albany bullet. Scranton want these days. Well, they'll upgrade the station to a medium station. 
there. What does Scranton want? Still doesn't want Tetan, but it supplies passengers. So I guess what I'll do with the... Scranton train with it. I'll give it a um I'll replace it with an American, yeah. So it can handle the the larger loads better. Still doesn't come back with anything, but now it can produce more money. There's Fort Wayne. I'm gonna give Fort Wayne a little bit of a uh little bit of a thing. It's going to be a stopping off point. Sanding tower. Water tower. Telegraph pole. Underground house. There. Crazy if I didn't double up on these uh This is the first time I've ever played, uh, the past few times I've played this is the first time I've ever really played Railroad Tycoon. So, I'd be curious to see what 3 and the other ones are like. Plus I hear there's something called Train Fever as well. Which so sounds to me like a sexually transmitted disease. Like it's not even funny. I mean, it is a little bit funny, but... So supplies, passengers. Okay. South Bend Junction. Come on. This should be it, by the way. You hear that?
Damn, we're doing all right for ourselves. We're a triple-A company. Eight loads between two cities. So, pretty much this will be it. Now, I think we need four thousand, four million in the bank. So I simply don't have to buy anything. Yes, yes, I'm definitely going to hire a fucking Carnegie. That's gonna make sense. Can I have a low? Uh, can I have a Ford on my paycheck? Uh, no. No. Well, now I, I justified completely robbing you blind. Columbus is just a bakery and like some houses. Wheeler. Oh, Wheeler. I want to build a new track, but I gotta get this up to 4 million. At least I think I do. They're somewhat pleased, because I'm not having any sort of growth, am I? Without growth, there's no investment. I want to get that money up. Nice. playing the game? Not this time, no. Oh, good job there! <laughs> now that the ball is rolling, how about stretching that rail to the west coast? Uh, some other time, buddy. For starters, I'm gonna go back and get uh, another gold. I think I can do it. I'm learning my way.
I'm building myself up. But next time, I'll, you'll probably see me be playing either Bridge of a Nation, or Bridging a Nation, or the Silver Moo and the Market Busts. So, with that in mind. You see, if I give it up, I might not have played it for the rest of the day. So, yeah. Alright, I gave you quite a chunky game session today at nearly pushing four hours. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I hadn't planned to do that, but I did. So I'm happy for it. If you're happy for it, remember to tell me that to the power of liking and subscribing and commenting and joining the Discord, which you'll find the link down below in the description. And you will can also find my personal information, such as my turn-ons and turn-offs and the size of my dick. You won't find those things. You might find them on the Discord, though. Uh, anyway, I will be back tomorrow to do a running stream, and the first of, uh, uh, live energy, low energy rambles, my bad. Uh, no, technically they would be live energy, so, because I'm doing them live. Anyway, I am out of here, so I will see you all again soon.